Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and it's that time of the month again, time to do the Great Goodwill Loop. You may have noticed that my winter coat is coming in nicely. It got cold here, so I decided to do the only reasonable thing and grow a scarf. Anyway, this is Goodwill number one. Let's see what they've got. All right then, Goodwill number one. I am not impressed. All right, Goodwill number two. A little bit better. All right, Goodwill number three. Starting to pick up a little bit, at least. All right then, Goodwill number four. Leave off, leave off. Couple of good ones there, lovely. All right, Goodwill number five. And a couple of little ones. Definitely getting better. All right, Goodwill number six. Couple of things. Nothing too interesting. One thing I'd never even seen before, so that's something. Starting to do, lose daylight, but here is Goodwill number seven. A couple of good ones in there. Lovely. All right, only thing Goodwill number eight had was a single red scout, and I consider that a win. Goodwill number nine is a Goodwill outlet. If you've never been to a Goodwill outlet, I envy you. They are sketchy. But every once in a while you find an amazing find in there since stuff is sold by weight. However, if you don't hear from me again and they find this camera, it is probably because I was drugged into one of the bins by a hobo and eaten. Wish me luck. All right, Goodwill number nine, the sketchy Goodwill outlet. Actually, we yielded a few things. All right, here we have the 10th and final Goodwill. And I consider it a win. They had a Zingbo arrow that I wanted to get to try, so I could try to make an attachment for ire because people keep asking for that, but they wouldn't let me have it because it didn't have a tag. Tragic. All right, time to inspect the haul. This one is actually all 10 Goodwills. Uh, the Black Friday one, there was one Goodwill I didn't go to. Actually, to be truth be told, this is 11 Goodwills because I actually hit a Goodwill uh, on the way to the Fort Warden War and get picked up a couple of blasters that were still in my car and I tossed them in the bin. So, the yeah, this is 11 Goodwills worth. This is the pre-Christmas run, so most of the good stuff had probably already been picked clean by parents buying stuff for their children. I'm looking forward to doing the January one when I'm hoping that I will be able to clean up on the uh, post-Christmas uh, cleaning out of the closet. So, let's see what we have. On top, we have one broken Dominator. The handle has been broken off, the stock has been broken off, the front is all messed up, but I am after it for parts. I want the cylinders, um, I kind of want the shell. Uh, somebody had, you know, there's a uh, wall come and mention that there's actually some uh, neat stuff you could probably do with this shell. If nothing else, screws and springs are worth it because I got this at the Goodwill outlet, uh, which means I played probably like 35 cents for it, so there we have one broken Duminator. We have one slightly messed up Nerf Axe. I had actually been looking for one of these. Uh, I will be able to repair that quite easily with glue, and uh, I have fun plans for what I want to do with that. That also came from the uh, Goodwill outlet, which is sketchy. Ah, uh, what do we have? We have this Thing. It's another X shot, and it is both a squirt gun and a dart shooter. I don't have the magazine for it. I will have to either rig up something or see if I can't find one. Also has dart storage as well. Uh, pulling the trigger makes the squirt gun squirt, and it also primes. Um, this one primes just like Night Finders or any of that line, so there's a good chance it'll be able to take K26, so we're gonna see. The grip certainly feels like a Night Finder. We have a little rocket launcher. It was at Goodwill. Figured, why not? It's got a little, oh, it's got two rocket holders. I only have one rocket, of course, but uh, we might be able to come up with something for that. If nothing else, it's a decent pump. So, there's one of those. The uh, requisite Maverick, I believe this one also came from the Goodwill outlet, which is why it's filthy. 
This was one of the ones from the Fort Warden Hall, another uh, switch shot, which is nice because they're fun and I had some ideas for what to do with a bunch of those. Also from the Goodwill Outlet, um, a spy light, missing the light of course, missing the dart holder, which really kind of makes it not so good, but I'm kind of digging the clear red cylinder. I may be able to come up with something for that. We have a Firefly, of course, both because they're very popular for Drain Blaster mods and for other integrations. It's got a bit of a sticky trigger, but uh, obviously I don't care because I'm definitely going to be modding it. We have whatever this thing is, the Protector, which is, it actually fired, the trigger does nothing, you just pump it to shoot and something on the inside actually rotates behind the cylinder, the cylinder is static, but it is a 12 round or 10 round, 10 round cylinder. It's got a little bit of damage here, but I could probably fix that. Thinking about it for a possible absolver because it's a nice tight 10 round cylinder. So we'll see what we can do with that. Picked up a front gun. I recently did a commission involving one of these. You haven't seen it yet. Actually, you may have seen it. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, but uh, did a really cool thing with a front gun and I'm looking forward to doing that again for myself. Picked up the Double Dealer. I've heard uh, conflicting things about it. I've heard it uh, has a tendency to jam on account of being kind of a complicated mechanism. But I would love to see if this thing can take uh, K26. The design is uh, feels good and sturdy. So I'm interested to see if it can take that. Picked up another X-Shot Eliminator. Very happy about that. Uh, because it is such a fabulous blaster. This one I'm going to do some different things to. Uh, Walcom had a pretty awesome idea, and once he does it and tests it, and if it works, then I may do that to this one, give him the first chance. Picked up the Super Soaker Raider stock. Um, it was also at the Goodwill outlet. Oh, so, let's see. I picked up a Thunderbow! Fabulous. This will be another one that'll be kind of fun to see if it can take K26. Have never actually played with one of these before, so that's nifty. Strong arm number one, strong arm number two, Maverick number two. Uh, an exploders thing because for the barrel that works with Boomco. Nightfinder number one, Nightfinder number two, Nightfinder number three. Um, not in general a huge fan of Nightfinders, but now that I can do the K26 mod and the flashlight mod, they're much, much nicer. I'll be adding that feature to my Etsy page as well. The AirTech Gem, which is basically a triad, but a direct prime triad rather than the handle prime triad. So I'm hoping that I might be able to do something a little bit more powerful with this than I could with the Triad. We will find out. The Busby Rogue, which is kind of like a Tech 4, except it's got a manually rotated cylinder. But once again, I plan to do some Busby episodes of Can It Take a K26, so I wanted to get as much variety as I could. Some bizarre Toy Story blaster. It's a revolver. Uh, ten or eight cylinder revolver. It primes from the bottom, you have to pull it out and then push it in and then it fires. And it loads from a little breach there. Uh, I was interested to see what exactly I could do with that because it's kind of steampunk-ish looking I feel that uh, you could do something neat with that. Another exploder's gun, again for the barrels. What else do we have here? Picked up one of the Rebel Jolts, the one that's got two dart holders, and I like that, so I'll probably paint that up and see if I can make a holster for it. Uh, let's see. A pair of Fire Strikes, one in each color. Lovely, because they also take K26 so very nicely. The Air Max 6 Extreme, which is a very nice pump gun that I'm uh, rather fond of. I'd like to see about modding one of them, getting a little more power out of them. Picked up a dual strike, which is also an excellent one for K26, and uh, 
since I was planning to tinker with one, I may end up ruining it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I can get it to actually do what I want. We'll find out. Picked up a Scout. I have always been a fan of the feel of the Scout and the look of the Scout. Uh, I think I've got a yellow one. I may have already sold it. I don't remember. Uh, but now I've got a red one, which is cool. They also came in, I believe, blue and possibly green. I don't know if... I think they all had Unity Power Systems. Uh, but I only have a red and I've had a yellow one at one point. A Vortex Stock. Always nice. Two Sweet Revenges, one with the holster, one without. I already have one holster. Downside of the Sweet Revenges holster is it's not ambidextrous, whereas the Four Victories is, which is something I think is really cool. Annoyingly, my Four Victory uh, went AWOL at the Fort Warden War. Uh, I lent it out to somebody, and they say they returned it and put it in front of my bin, but it was not there when I got there, so either... Somebody put it in front of the wrong bin, somebody ended up with their bin, or some, someone, in fact, stole my four victory, which would just be inconsiderate. Fortunately, the Goodwill God smiled on me and I picked up another one. And I don't know if this thing has been modded, but it has an absolutely magnificent um, prime. It's, it's kind of... I mean, it's, it's heavy for me, and I'm, you know, not a tiny person, but... Uh, Beautiful. Now I've got another one. This one will get painted up the same way my old one was. I still have the holster, I just don't have the blaster. So now I've got a replacement blaster, which makes me happy. Picked up a rough cut. Can't go wrong with a rough cut. I do like doing underslung rough cuts. I actually just got the kit, uh, 3D printed kit that allows you to, co to connect it and to remove the trigger altogether to make a slam fire only one, which is lovely. So. There's the future of that. Somebody just asked me about one of these in the comments. I think it was actually earlier today if I had the gold Maverick thing from Skylanders, and I didn't, and now I do. So this will get uh, featured at some point. So there you go. I almost bought one of these at Toys R Us, and now I'm glad I didn't, and I don't have to. The Zombie Strike... What on earth is this thing called? Crosscut. The Crosscut. And I, of course, like it because it is a direct prime, which means there's a good chance it can take K26. It's uh, basically a double shot, or a double strike, but a direct prime one rather than a hammer prime one, which means there's a good chance it can take K26. Whereas the double strike, there's very little chance. So, that's awesome. I will probably do what people have done and take the blade off and put dart holders in or take it off just entirely so that I can holster it. It's probably too big to fit in my chest holster, but um, it's a decent looking blaster. I mean, it's, it's one of those where it looks like it's been steampunked already. Um, so I probably wouldn't, you know, try to use it in my usual loadout. But, that one is fun. And finally, the big one! Picked up another Rhino Fire. This is the second one that I have found at Goodwill. Um, none of them came with their magazines, unfortunately, but I have lots of magazines, so... Um, I have an idea for how to mod one of these. Uh, I've seen somebody do a minimized mod of it, and I like that idea. I have some other thoughts on what to do with them. Um, so... One thing that I'm actually kind of wanting to pull out of it is its firing mechanism, because it doesn't have rev triggers. You push this, it revs up, and then it starts shooting. And that's something that I would like for a shoulder, or for a wrist cannon, or a shoulder cannon. Something where I can pull a single trigger and it will start shooting. The spin-up time is a little bit slow, but we'll see what we can do about that. So, there you have it. There is my December Goodwill haul. I gave everybody else a good, solid, full month to uh, get in there and find everything before I snuck in and cleaned them out. Um, so, there we have it. A lot of good stuff. Since the, everything was not 50% off, like it was for uh, Black Friday, I didn't take everything. I only actually took things that I thought I, were useful for modding, or stuff that I personally wanted, or stuff that I thought I could mod and sell. Or stuff that I just wanted to do a K26 episode on, uh, and needed the blaster in order to do that. So, there you have it. Another excellent haul. Uh, for, for reasons that I cannot begin to understand, my Black Friday video has as many views as all of my other videos combined. 
it's at 300,000 out of 600,000 views for my channel. So not sure why that was so incredibly popular, but we'll see if this one was as popular. Now that I've hit 10,000, I am, oh God, it's all, avalanche! I am finally going to monetize my channel because stuff like this is kind of expensive and I'd like to get some of that back. Um, so, yeah, so you'll see ads on my channel now, and I know nobody likes ads, but uh, gonna get me some of that YouTube money so that I can put it back into the channel. That is what I do with all the revenue. It's what I've been doing with my commission revenue and my Etsy revenue. It is what I will do with my ad revenue also. It'll allow me to buy tools and allow me to buy parts. It'll allow me to buy blasters so that I can do cool stuff to show you guys in the future. If you have any comments, concerns, just want to yell at me for going to Goodwill and taking all the toys from the children. Go ahead, put it in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.